The Voyager spacecraft have found that space is more dense outside the solar system. Here is what you need to know. NASA's Voyager 2 crossed into interstellar space in November of 2018 after a 41-year voyage, but its mission is far from over. According to research published in the journal Astrophysical Letters, as Voyager 2 moves farther from our solar system, the density of space is increasing. This supports findings from Voyager 1, which entered interstellar space at a different location in 2012. The solar system's theoretical boundary is called the heliopause. An article published on NASA's website describes the heliopause as the place where the solar wind, which emanates from our sun, is no longer strong enough to push back interstellar winds from the surrounding stars. Inside is the heliosphere, a huge bubble of the sun's magnetic influence made by the solar wind that extends far beyond Pluto. This bubble was thought to be shaped like a comet with a rounded leading edge and tail as it orbits the Milky Way. The heliospheric nose is situated between the two voyagers. But a study published in the journal Nature Astronomy in March using data from NASA missions suggests the heliosphere may in fact be shaped like a deflated croissant. A 3D simulation created using the data shows a curving central bulge with two jets caused by the solar magnetic field shooting away from it. The authors of the study write that the increase in density detected by the Voyager spacecraft could be due to interstellar magnetic fields becoming stronger as they approach and drape over the heliopause. Another theory is that the material blown by the interstellar wind might slow down and build up as it approaches the heliopause. More data is needed from the two voyagers to try to untangle this mystery. However, as the authors of the study note, it is not certain whether the voyagers will be able to operate far enough to distinguish between these two classes of models. Voyager mission team members estimate the spacecraft's transmitters will go quiet in the late 2020s or perhaps in the 2030s. And then they will be alone, out there in the vastness of interstellar space, until their next close encounter with a cosmic object 40,000 years from now. Up next, more on the current state of the Voyager missions and what happened when they passed into interstellar space, plus a fascinating discovery scientists recently made about Uranus by reviewing decades-old data from Voyager 2. Uranus passed wind over three decades ago, and now NASA knows all about it. Writing in the Geophysical Research Letters, NASA says a review of Voyager 2's old data from 1986 showed that Uranus vented a giant blob of gas into space. This pocket of ionized gas, a plasma structure called plasmoid, was 400 kilometers across and 200 kilometers long. According to NASA's news release, Uranus is special in that it spins almost on its side like a pig on spit roast while the axis of its magnetic field is offset from the spin by 60 degrees. This gives the planet's magnetic field an odd wobble that scientists cannot model. As solar winds blasted Uranus, the bombardment pinched gas off from the far end of the field. The resulting leak was then accidentally discovered by NASA researchers who were reviewing the old magnetic data. In the new research, scientists dialed up the reading's resolution to make a data point every two seconds. They spotted a blip in the readings that indicated the planet was making a plasmoid. It was just as well that Voyager 2 don't have a sense of smell, since Uranus contains a lot of aromatic stuff like ammonia and methane, behavior that is shockingly undignified for a planet named after a Greek god. U.S. NASA's Voyager 2 reached the edge of the solar system in early November. The two Voyagers were launched 42 years ago, but Voyager 2 took the longer route to interstellar space. Live Science reports that Voyager 2 detected a fiery plasma wall in the heliopause, where the sun's outward-blowing solar winds clash with cosmic rays. This barrier protects the solar system by repulsing and weakening cosmic rays. Citing NASA, Live Science reports that Voyager 1 could not detect the wall because its sensors malfunctioned. However, as Voyager 2 crosses the heliopause, it found holes in the protective shell and temperatures twice as high as past models predicted. According to the BBC, the sun's energies charge particles into an ionized plasma state and shoot them out to form solar winds and the heliopause. Live science reports that the solar winds play an important role in making the Earth habitable to life, despite the gaps Voyager 2 discovered. In August and September 2017, NASA's Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft will mark their 40th anniversaries as space explorers. The two spacecraft are still sending data back to Earth and setting space exploration milestones, despite their vast distance from our planet. 
The Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft were launched in 1977 to take advantage of an alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune that made it possible to use gravitational assists to explore the planets in a much shorter time. This alignment appears once every 175 years. Voyager 2 was launched earlier than Voyager 1. It is the only spacecraft to have conducted flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Voyager 1 took a shorter but faster trajectory that used a gravity assist maneuver at Saturn to take it out of the solar system. In 2012, Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft to cross into interstellar space. It is still transmitting data at a distance of almost 13 billion miles away from Earth. Voyager 2 is in the space known as the Heliosheath, almost 11 million miles from Earth. That spacecraft is expected to enter interstellar space in the next few years. Each spacecraft carries a gold-plated record of sounds, pictures, and messages about Earth, just in case some intelligent ETs find them someday. NASA will stop talking to Voyager 2 for almost a year. Starting early this month, Voyager 2 will stop receiving commands from NASA, the space agency announced in a news release on March 5th. This is because the transmitter that sends commands to Voyager 2, the DSS-43 radio antenna near Canberra, Australia, will undergo critical upgrades over the next 11 months. As Voyager 2 travels in space, the radio antenna won't be able to send commands to the space probe while it's being updated. The spacecraft is currently flying in a downward direction relative to our planet's orbital plane, which means it can only be in contact with the radio antenna site in Australia. During this time, the Voyager team will put the spacecraft into a state of inactivity, which will still allow the spacecraft to send back scientific data to the team during the next 11 months. NASA said in the news release that the radio antennas, transmitters, and other parts need to be replaced and upgraded, as they are 40 years old and are increasingly unreliable. The DSS-43 antenna is part of the U.S. Space Agency's Deep Space Network, which is used to communicate and receive information from faraway spacecraft. NASA said the upgrades will also benefit future space missions such as the Artemis lunar missions and Mars 2020 rover mission. The upgrades on the DSS-43 radio antenna are expected to be complete by January of 2021. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.